uh, in terms of the future, I would say with Russia, we ought to have, I think we need two, dial, two tweaks on the dial, if you will. One is on the toughness dial. I think we have to get a bit tougher. And I would say we ought to be doing more to strengthen uh, NATO Europe. Anytime you have a gap, a large gap between what you're committed to and what you're capable of, you're asking for trouble. We now have that in NATO. We have got, we basically demilitarized big chunks of NATO after the end of the Cold War. Mm. We've got to remilitarize that. Some of it was begun under Ash Carter. We've got to, I think, continue that. One of the interesting questions for the current administration will be, will they do that, particularly in the Baltics and elsewhere? I do think we need to do more for Ukraine. The Russians are turning up the temperature in Ukraine. Yeah, well, I'm sorry, stop on this administration. What is the deep, deep what do they feel about protecting the Baltics and Ukraine? Uh, look, I don't think you can speak about this administration yet in the national security sense. We got the national security advisor is less than 24 hours old, and the secretary of state and the secretary of defense don't have one staffer. They're home alone. This is the Macaulay Culkin no of, uh, <laughs> of, of administrations. Everybody's home alone. There's um, so we don't have an interagency. We don't have an interagency yet. So I don't think we can yet, spe I don't, we may have different instincts or proclivities, but I would be shocked if there were a systematic review interagency of what we would do about, if to, about how to deal with what Russia is doing in, in eastern Ukraine or if Russia were to do the same in Lithuania tomorrow. So I just, I, so the answer is I don't know. Uh, but I, well, my, my, my answer is that we ought to be prepared and I, even, and I would say, if not today, then tomorrow, uh, we ought to be putting more capabilities into NATO Europe, give Ukraine more abilities to uh, defend itself. I also think that we ought to be, that's the toughness dial. And then I would also say there ought to be some outreach dial to the Russians, whether it's an envoy, but also we ought to make clear to Putin that regime change in Moscow is not what we're about. Uh, not, you know, I, I think, he, I, I actually believe he takes that more seriously than, than we might think, but Do you that, think he was involved in regime change here? Oh, absolutely. I don't, believe, I, I, I don't speak Russian, but I doubt there's a great word for freelancing mm -hmm. in, uh, Putin's, in Putin's Russia. Of course yeah. they were involved in it. And now, what I don't know is what, if any, effect it may have had. But, uh, but of course, and, I, and, I, I, and, I, and they're obviously doing it in places like Germany and, and France. So, uh, but I would, yeah, I would think about sending reassurance there. I don't think countries like Ukraine or uh, Georgia ought to be NATO candidates anytime um, soon. And I think we ought to talk to them about sanctions, but say we're prepared to relieve them or reduce them, but only if under the following situations. Make, very, very, make it very clear what the conditionality is. I don't think we ought to do any of it as a down payment, but I think we ought to be prepared to do it in part to, relieve, to reduce some of the sanctions if Russia were to start doing X or stop doing Y. I would have that kind of a conversation with them.